Hello YouTube! Today I'm here to talk to you about Parsec. Now some of you might be asking, what is Parsec? Well, Parsec is the newest game, or newest player to the streaming game. They allow you to take something that's on uh, a bigger, more powerful rig, or even a cloud gaming rig, and play it wherever you want, on pretty much whatever you want. It works on PC, it works on Mac, it works on Linux, it works on Raspberry Pi. So it's pretty versatile. Now some of you might be saying, hey, We've already got things that do that. Why do we need another one? And, and I know what you mean, because you know when you think about what's out there now, we've got NVIDIA Game Stream, we've got Steam in-home streaming, we've got Moonlight. So there's there's ways to do this, but there's something that they all lack, and that is low latency gameplay. the The video from those products is pretty decent, but the actual latency is pretty awful. You know, meaning that if you're playing something that's more than just, you know, uh, an MMO or uh, I don't even know. I mean, the latency is pretty bad for everything. And that's coming from all those big names from NVIDIA, from Valve with Steam. Now, Parsec, being the new player to the game, has a lot to live up to when, when you think about those big names. But they've nailed it. I mean, they've straight up nailed it. You can sit down at whatever machine you want. And you can play a game and have the latency be exactly like it is on that native streaming machine that's somewhere else. And it, it actually works. I, I'm a huge, huge streaming fan. I've been, I've been streaming as long as the technology has been available. The, the day that the, the very first NVIDIA Shield came out, I was there. I ordered it. Um, I beta tested you know, with uh, Steam and home streaming. I've, I own the link. Um, I've tried every solution that's available. This is the only thing that really works as promised. So I'd like to show it to you, but there's another thing that I want to show you as well, because Parsec, as awesome as it is, it's still a beta product. You know, they're still testing it and developing it and making it even better. And as such, it has one thing that it's really, really, really missing. And that is a controller friendly interface. And uh, what happens, and you can, there's other videos that'll show this off, but what happens is that when you start streaming from one PC to another device, like another PC, so like in my case, we're talking about the Microsoft Surface, it streams the desktop of the other computer, which can be cool if you're sitting at another machine that has a keyboard and a mouse, but if you're trying to play with just a controller, like, you know, if you look at my Surface here, I don't have a keyboard, I don't have a mouse. You know, I've just got the touch screen. And, uh, you know, I want this to be the most versatile gaming system ever. So if you want to play with just the controller, you're kind of out of luck because, um, you know, it's kind of awkward trying to launch those games, especially like if I take my Surface and dock it at my TV and try to play on the TV, you know, how are you supposed to manage all that? Well, there's a way to do it. And uh, there's actually several ways to do it, but I want to show you my way. And my way is with a product called Big Box. And Big Box is basically a very customizable interface that's made for controller gaming. And with Big Box, you can take Parsec to the next level, and I'm here to show you what I did and how I did it. So with no further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start a session. So you, as you can see on the, on the surface over here, I've got Parsec open, and I'm ready to connect to my larger gaming rig. So I'm just gonna hit the connect button, and boom, we're there. So this is actual real-time streaming, just with my controller that I picked up, and this is my interface for Parsec with the controller. Now, if you look, I've got different systems laid out. So there's PS2, um, PC, Wii U, Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo, GameCube, 64. And then this, um, anybody that's familiar with Parsec will appreciate, this is a button that allows me to quit the stream, like close the stream down without going back to the desktop. So I can just hit this and it sends a command that closes everything down. I just want to show you how everything kind of comes together. So with this, um, and to repeat, this is a big box interface. So this allows me to just have a controller friendly interface that I can use to get to all my games and play whatever I want. So this is the PC section showing off PC games. And uh, big box is completely customizable. So this is a theme that somebody else created that I'm using for my setup just because it's really simple and elegant. And you can customize this to really be anything that you want it to be. So some of you might be asking, why not just open up Steam Big Picture and use that instead? And there's a simple answer to that. 
there are games that don't work very well in Steam Big Picture. Um, give you an example. Uh, over here, we've got Destiny 2. Um, if you try to add Destiny 2 to Steam, it'll let you launch it through uh, in-home streaming, but then it'll tell you that you have to launch it from the Battle.net launcher. And there's little hacks and things that you can try to do to get around that. Bottom line is that none of them work. So you can't really launch a big game like Destiny 2 from Big Picture. It's also not the friendliest thing to handle um, emulator gameplay like Simu. So, you know, I've got Simu set up on that computer and I've got Mario Kart and I've got uh, Mario 3D World that are set up through that. By the way, disclaimer, all the games that I've got set up through emulators, I physically own copies of. So staying within uh, copyright and all that good stuff with those games. But I've got that set up. Um, we've got Super Nintendo with a bunch of games over there. We've got GameCube. Um, going through Dolphin, so any you know, GameCube game that I want to play just launches through that. And it's just a really cool interface. You, know, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, pick something and show you just kind of how it looks. Uh, let's pick something that's easy to set up. Okay, we can go with like Expendable Bros. Try that. So you just hit the game to play the game, just wait for it to launch. And that's uh, streaming from the desktop upstairs. Um, it's playing through Steam, so this is part of my Steam library. And you can just add it. And this is streaming, this is actually over Wi-Fi. It's pretty impressive. And you can just start the game. Uh, I mean, you have to really set it up and experience it to really appreciate it fully but the latency is non-existent i mean it, it's absolutely flawless it's, it's just as if i had installed this game on the surface pro except that the surface pro can't run half this stuff and uh it's just it's just absolutely amazing and uh I mean, you just, you can't even tell the difference. And that's especially noticeable with shooting games, with first person shooters. Um, with any other streaming service out there, it doesn't matter which one you pick, you can notice a significant amount of lag when you go to play it. I mean, it's it's game breaking. And Parsec has finally beaten it. It's a, uh, you can't emphasize how great the latency is. Um, so let's, uh, let's get out of this and try something else. So just pushing a button gets out of there for you. Um, well, we talked about shooters. Let's see if I can find a shooter and show it off. And so far, I'm, I'm restricting this to just basically... Um, games that have native controller support. I mean, you can do this with a Steam controller if you want. You can do it with really any controller that you prefer. Um, trying to get into something that starts up quickly and doesn't take too long. Well, you know what? We'll show that off. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do Destiny. We talked about Destiny. So we'll wait for that to load. Now, with Destiny, there's a custom launcher, so it briefly opens up the uh, Steam Battle.net launcher and then launches right into the game. So you see that go up, it's going to close, and then the game itself will open. And it does it all without you having to physically touch anything, click a mouse or anything. You just push one button and it's going to come up. And we'll give it a second. That's just the nature of uh, Destiny 2. For whatever reason, it takes a very long time to open. And that's not, it doesn't have anything to do with streaming. That's just how it is on the PC, period. It takes a while to load it. But here we go. Maybe, the, maybe uh, Bungie will improve that in the future. But I'll try to show you how that looks here. And I'm doing this just over Bluetooth with a Xbox One Bluetooth controller. 
I mean, this is completely portable. Um, something else that's really cool is that I can take this Surface Pro and leave this house and go anywhere else that has enough internet speed and play this just like I'm, you know, as if I'm at home. Um, the key is having enough upload speed at home, enough download speed wherever you're at, and being within a reasonable distance of your home. So, if, you know, I can go, you know, up to about 100 miles away and have a decent experience remotely. And um, Parsec even lets you either rent or you know, make some sort of arrangement and install this on a cloud server. So you can even have these experiences even if you don't own a PC at all. Um, you can have just a Raspberry Pi, for example. Um, just install Parsec for free on the Raspberry Pi and um, just have that only and just buy the games and, and do whatever you want. So we'll go to Earth. Now you can you can see it. I mean it's really 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 smooth and it's kind of hard for you guys to measure the latency because you can't really see what I'm doing with the controller. But you'll see the results of me moving around. I mean as far as I know, this is really the only way to smoothly stream Destiny 2 to anything. You know they they have a lot of restrictions in place that really define how the game can be captured and they prevent a lot of things just for hacking reasons and Parsec is really the only product that that works so I can run around and I mean, it's super smooth. The quality is just spot on. I mean, you li literally cannot tell that you're streaming this game. You can't tell that this isn't running natively on that machine. Whoa! Where'd he go? It's like phantoms. I, I think this is some sort of event. All right, I don't know. Regardless, you can you can get the idea. You get the drift. The latency is just non-existent. I mean, you literally cannot tell that I'm not playing this on the computer itself. It's one of those things that you'll probably never believe unless you actually try it. All right, we'll jump out of here. And that's all it is. You, know, you can see it just goes smoothly back to the launcher. Now when I'm done with my session and I want to stop the stream, I just go here to the Parsec button that I made. Um, this actually runs a batch file that just pushes a key combination, and I believe it is Control F3, and it just ends the stream and kicks off anybody that was on there. So you can see it just goes back, and uh, you can close it. So this is back to the non-streaming interface of the Surface Pro. Um, here's something else that's really cool. You can actually invite people to share your screen with you and play with you as the second controller. So a lot of those games you might have noticed that were in my list support some sort of split screen or co-op. And with Parsec, you can send your friend an invite and let them jump in the game with you and enjoy that as the second player. So even games that don't support any sort of online whatsoever, um, examples being like the original like Super Mario for the any the the SNES or I'm trying to think of some other cool examples. Um, Brahalla for the for the PC, or there's a, a new game called Overcooked for the PC, rated as one of the top uh, couch co-op games that you can get on PC. All these games that otherwise wouldn't have any sort of multiplayer or online multiplayer player that is, you can hand that controller virtually to somebody else. Um, what you're seeing on your screen pops up on their screen at, at the same low latency, and they can be the second controller or the third or the fourth. Um, you can have up to, I think, four people join you at the moment. It'll stream up to 2K as of right now. 
and uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, try it. I, I saw a commercial recently for uh, Coke Zero, and they didn't do anything flashy. They said, you know what? We know that you're never gonna believe that it tastes like real Coke until you just drink it. So that's what we're telling you to go to do. Go try it for yourself. And par Parsec is one of those things. You're never gonna believe that it's just like being at the machine until you do it yourself. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share you with you that there's solutions for creating a controller interface for it. And I uh, just want to encourage everybody, you know, anybody that's interested in, in, in streaming or remote gameplay should absolutely go to parsec.tv and download a copy and try it for yourself. It'll blow your mind. And if you have any questions, jump into their Discord. They will help you to make sure that everything's perfect. And uh, until next time, you guys have a good one. Um, like it if you if you enjoyed what I did here. Ask any questions you have below, and I'll do my best to answer them.